Alright, boys. <sighs> yes, I'm alive. No, I couldn't get the post game for last week done early enough. Well, I really just didn't have a lot of time, so that's my bad. But we got to keep rolling. 15 minutes till game time. So inactives have been announced. They were announced a little while earlier. I would have got this done earlier, but I didn't. Because I just woke up 5, 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. So, we move. The inactives are Elshon, which, I mean, are we really surprised? I'm not really surprised that he's out. We've known he's really going to be out for this week. Since day one. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Alright. Deshaun... He's also out with the hamstring he injured last week, which sucks. But, I mean, I was saying earlier in the year that it's Deshaun. He's a rental, basically. J-Jaw was doubtful he's out, which sucks. Because I wanted to, I thought he might get put in the game plan for once. JP, he's out. Wentz is going to turn into Andrew Luck for a game, and by that I mean he's not going to have an offensive line, and he's going to run around all game for his life. And then Avante Maddox and Tremont Williams are also out. And then, the only one that worries me a little bit is Lane Johnson limited participation on Friday in practice, but I don't think that would be much of a problem. Actually. Hold on, was... <laughs> Love scrolling through Philly Twitter sometimes. And then it's annoying when it stops loading on me. Because I had a fun day. But they're down, actually. Nope, the inactives are... That was the injury report from last week, but I was pretty sure a couple people were going to be out, but not apparently. Deshaun, Alshon, Jayjaw, all out. Nate Sudfeld, he's out. Avante, Casey Tuhill, and Hakeem Butler, the new pickup. So we're down to a, re a small receiving core. That includes Greg Ward. Actually, yeah, it's... I can't remember the exact one that was on Twitter. Now I'm not going to find it. But they did a bit of moving around with players pre-game day. Brought up Fal Travis Fulgham to the roster, the active. Which I find interesting because he's been on and off this roster a couple times.
let's see. It's Greg Ward, John Hightower, Deontay Burnett, Travis Fulgham. That's going to be fun. Then you have no Goddard, I don't think. So then it's just Ertz, Ertz, and Ertz. Your backup tight end that you signed in Hakeem Butler, who is a tight end wide receiver like Josh Perkins, is also out. So you can't run 12 personnel. They don't have an... Well... Boston was having trouble the last couple weeks really behind the line, from what I remember. So there's a bit of holes here. This team, this is, they're not going to win this game, let's be real. 49ers have been steamrolling with their injuries, even with their injuries. But, unless everything falls right, Philly gets the ball moving Philly can move the chains a lot and can start scoring, unlike previous weeks where they break down at times and turn into a the opposite of well, And then the defenses look like they turn into meat grinders and tear apart the O-line. Hopefully not everybody on that offensive line goes down this week again. The receivers need to be getting open. Wentz needs to start to go back to his 2017 form, or well, it, just to a better form where he's, he's more accurate. His decision making starts to get better, and that offense will do solid. And then on the defensive side, you've got to really hope for. You've got to hope they can stop George Kittle. Gary, I get it. He's not a great coverage guy. He is. Top and Teddy is one of the top three in tackles right now, but it's going to be tough. We can only see what Nick Mullins can do against our defense. You don't know what to expect there, but at this point, you don't know. So hopefully, Philly can... You get something done right, even though this is their game to lose. If they can win, I will be surprised. And I don't know if this video, if this video won't get up by game time, but I'll fix up right after. Podcast is starting back up. That's really gotten knocked out of the lineup because I've had no time. That, and then Notre Dame starts back up next week against FSU, so that should be back up and going. Anyway, that's your pregame. I will be back after, and if not, I might be in the PSN postgame stream, then this will get recorded.